Hi everyone, my name is Ren from Quicksave Interactive. In this tutorial, we will be covering the hover activity in the machine editor. The hover activity allows us to activate a state transition when an element is hovered in the machine editor. I highly recommend that you check out the hover trigger tutorial in the UI editor before proceeding with this tutorial. Now let's dive into the machine editor and learn more about the hover activity. In the machine editor, I've already set up our start button layout as our default layer and created a root machine state as our initial machine state with two child states, a default and hover child state. The root state has two transitions. One is ender hover, which will transition to our hover child state, and another is leave hover, which will transition to our default child state. Now, initially, our root state will activate the default child state. Let's go ahead and add a hover trigger so that we can transition from the default child state to the hover child state once we hover over our start button, and once we leave it, it should go back to the default child state. In our settings panel, we will go down to the hover activities section and add a new hover activity. I will call this hover start as our activity name. The layout will be our start button layout and the element will be this button element from our start button layout. This is start underscore button. Now, upon entering this activity, we will use the enter hover transition event. And upon leaving it, we will use the leave hover transition event. Now let's add our hover start hover activity to our root machine state. In the activities section, I will click this add button here and add hover start. Now, if I hover over our button, we should see that it activates the hover trigger and our hover state in the hierarchy is active. If I leave it, it defaults back to its original state. Hovering changes the state, leaving it turns it back to the original state. Being able to transition between states upon hovering elements can be extremely powerful when it comes to creating very pleasing visual effects when players are interacting with our UI elements. We do hope you enjoyed this hover activities tutorial in the machine editor and highly encourage you to experiment with the various state transitions you can use when hovering over your UI elements in the machine editor. We also highly recommend that you subscribe to the QuickSave YouTube channel and stay up to date with our documentation website where you can find more tutorials just like this. Thank you for watching. See you again next time.